evening, everybody. Well, tonight we're going to take a look at uh, multiplication properties of exponents, and I'll become a lot clearer in a second. But basically, we're going to take a look at what we do when we have either common bases and we're multiplying two common bases with different exponents, or if we have um, equations with exponents that are then having a, a, an exponent set to them again. So this will all become a lot clearer when you see some examples. So make sure you have your notebook out. Make sure you're, you're, uh, you're copying them down, trying to solve them um, as you become more familiar with them. And we'll, uh, we'll talk about this again tomorrow. Well, there's basically three types of problems you're going to run across. And the first kind of problem you're going to run across is where the base, the, um, here the base is A, and we have an exponent of X, and here we have a base of A, and the exponent is Y. And we basically want to know how we can multiply those two powers. This is a power with a base A and an exponent X. This is a power, a base A with an exponent Y. How do I multiply these two together? The second example we'll take a look at is how do I deal with a base with an exponent and then the whole power is now having an exponent set to it. Third example is two bases are being multiplied and they have the same exponent. So let's the, the easiest way to solve this is by looking at um, some examples and then we'll come back to this page and we'll write down the rules. So let's get started. <coughs> All right, so here we have six to the third times six squared. And so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you what that really means. Well, it means six times six times six that's six to the third, times six times six, that's six squared. So how many sixes am I multiplying here? Well, I'm multiplying five. And so the rule becomes that if I have a common base, in this case my base is six, then when I multiply them together, I just add the exponents. So three plus two is five. So I have a common base of 5, so I add the exponents, 2 plus 4, and I get 6. I have a common base of 3, don't panic because there's a negative here, I have a common base of 3, my rule says to exactly add the exponents, so 2 plus negative 5 is, 2 plus negative 5 is negative Three. And if I wanted you to simplify that further, then we would continue on with the rules that we've already learned. Okay. Well, what happens if my base is a variable? Does anything change? Well, no. We have six x's here, and we have three x's here, all being multiplied together. We're just going to use the rule. Common base, six plus three is nine. Common base, two minus three is negative one. 1 over x. Remember, we don't have to write that. So that's rule number one. And let's go back and um, we'll take a look at that. Well, actually, we'll put that all together at the very end. So the second type of problem you'll run across is where we have a base and an exponent, and the whole thing has an exponent. So let's take a look at what that really means. Well, it's saying 6 to the third, and we have to multiply itself twice. So 6 to the third times six to the third. And we know we have three sixes here and we have three sixes here. So it ends up giving me six times six and over here, six times six times six. So I end up getting six to the sixth power. Okay, well, where's the shortcut here? Well, when we're dealing with an exponent to the exponent, we're going to take 2 times 3 is 6. Remember, when in doubt, you can always write it out. So, 3 squared to the fourth, the shortcut would say 2 times 4 is 8, and we'd come up with an answer. But if we want to double check, we would go 3 squared which is three times three, and how many of those are we gonna do? We're gonna do that four. That's two, that's three, and that's four. And we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Three to the 
eighth. Shortcut says two times negative three is three to the negative six. Okay. All right. Well, the last example that you're going to have to deal with, and this really isn't that complicated, is that we have a combination or two numbers or three numbers or whatever multiply them each other and then in parentheses we have an exponent. So what this really says again is 3x times itself three times times 3x times 3x. Okay well we can certainly rewrite this in a different order because the product rule says that it doesn't matter what order so I can write 3 times 3 times 3, 3 times 3 times 3, times x times x times x, and this can be rewritten as 3 to the third, and this can be rewritten as a x to the third. 3 to the third, x to the third. So the shortcut would say that I just go x squared y squared. Again, we can prove that. x, y times x, y. Change the order around. x times x, y times y, x squared, y squared. And then the final one, 5 squared times 3 squared. So we're going to have plenty of time to practice that in class tomorrow. Let's go back to the original and come up with our rules now. So when we have same base, the answer is the addition of the exponents. When we have a power that does have an exponent on it, it's a x y. The power times the other exponent. And then the final rule, a to the x to the x. Just apply the exponent to each individual one. Okay, hopefully that makes a lot of sense. We will have the chance in class tomorrow to practice and we will have plenty of time to practice on your con. Remember you should be doing at least one more con assignment tonight and then maybe doing a little mastery. Um, hopefully you're doing about uh, 10 to 15 minutes watching the video and taking notes and then about another 10 to 15 minutes doing your con academy. That's it for tonight. Good night.